so uh, basically the one doubt coming from the students so the doubt will be second equation of the doubt comes here is second equation of motion second equation of motion so the doubt is how uh -huh. we will drive this equation so first of all point to be remember why we use the second where we use this uh, second equation so second equation tells us it will tell us the relationship between relationship between two things one is displacement displacement and time so when we use when we have to drive the relationship between distance and that uh, displacement and the time then we use the second equation then the second point is what is the formula what is the law of equation uh, motion is so s is equal to ut plus uh, 1 upon 2 at square so this is our this is our equation this is our law of motion this is the relationship between the displacement and the time so the given point over here is displacement of a body so like we have a body here this is a body okay and this body will travel a uh, travel uh, at a time t it will cover a distance of like s distance it will cover so with the help of this equation we can drive this so now how we will do the derivation let's start with the derivation derivation of second law of motion is when a particle is moving with a uniform acceleration so the first point is so what is the what is the assumption over here when when we will drive when when a particle when a particle when a particle is moving with uniform velocity uniform uh, uniform acceleration not velocity acceleration so what is the average velocity we will average velocity will define av this is the average velocity so average velocity is for example this particle initially its velocity is u and finally when it reaches its velocity is v so what we will do average velocity is equal to u plus v by 2 so this will be uh, we will compute the average velocity now displacement is equal to next point is displacement displacement is equal to average velocity average velocity into time this is the formula of displacement so what is the average velocity we will substitute the value v, v u plus v mm -hmm. by 2 this is the average velocity and we will multiply it by t so now when we multiply this one in this case we will substitute the from first law of motion from our first law of motion first law of motion is v is equal to u plus at so this is the first law of motion from this first law of motion what we will do we will substitute this value so here we will put this value so when we substitute this value u plus u plus at divided by 2 and multiply by t so it will be 2u plus at divided by 2 multiply by t so when we solve uh, and the displacement we will denote it by s so this s is equal to when we put it 2u by 2 plus 1 upon 2 at so till now we will keep this outside t is outside here so this one we will cut so you this is equal to u plus two. 1 upon 2 at and t is still outside so now we will multiply this one and this one so this is equal to ut plus 1 upon 2 at, at square. square so this is equal to the s so this is the formula of uh, this is the derivation of the second law of motion so basically here what we did will drive the uh, uh, formula for the second law of 
motion so this is the final uh, proof that we have to actually prove here so the two things that i want to highlight here what you need to know so one is the average velocity average velocity average velocity is equal to u initial velocity final velocity divided by 2 another formula that we discussed about displacement displacement is equal to average velocity into time then finally we derived the uh, with the help of the first law of motion is equal to v is equal to u plus at and in this formula we substitute the value and drive the final second second equation of motion clear any doubt here so